the world is reopening and you want to travel, but you want a budget. And maybe you're not, but you still want to know some budget-friendly countries. Well, guess what? I've got you covered. Hey guys, I'm Wito. I make travel and DIY related videos. So if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. And without further ado, let me show you 10 budget-friendly countries you should visit in 2023. Number one, Thailand. With just around $30 a day, you can enjoy one of the most scenic countries in Southeast Asia. Known for being super low cost, with incredible nightlife, delicious food, and much more, you absolutely have to visit Thailand. Coming from the US, your highest expense will be the plane ticket, as hostels can be as low as $10 and your Thai meal around $3 to $5. If Thailand was not on your bucket list, add it now. Number two, Laos. Laos is Thailand, but without the tourists. Paradise for outdoor activities where you can go kayaking, zip lining, climbing, and even on hot air balloons, all on low budget. Hostels can be as low as $10 and some even offer basic breakfast. Your meals will cost $5 on average, and if you rent a bike to venture off the smaller towns, it gets even cheaper. Number three, Portugal. I recently traveled to Portugal back in the summer. This place is a beloved holiday destination, known for its abundance of natural beauty and beautiful beaches. $30 a day is enough in Lisbon, but if you're willing to leave the crowd and head deeper in the country, in cities like Braga in the north, your money can go further. Portugal is also the third safest place for tourists, so one more reason you should visit. Number four, Bolivia. Bolivia is South America's ultimate budget destination and might be the cheapest country to visit from the US. Bolivia offers an authentic experience with jaw-dropping sites like Embro National Park and salt flats of Solo de Uyini in rainy seasons. You can eat local food and stay in very affordable hostels. Number five, Indonesia. People usually think of Bali when you say Indonesia because it's cheap, but if you visit its neighbor islands like Lombok and Java, you realize that they're even cheaper. You can go by with just $30 a day in Indonesia, a traveler's budget dream. Number six, Mexico. Rich in culture, friendly people, and some of the best food in the world, Mexico is very budget friendly. Your daily expense will be around $35 and it gets cheaper if you leave the touristy areas. Mexico remains my favorite country to visit so far. For tropical beach holiday or to explore nature, there's something to discover. Number seven, Colombia. Colombia has some of the best diving sites and gorgeous beaches. This country is underrated and very affordable. Your meal will cost around five to $10 a day, while accommodation as low as $15 a night. From very colorful cities to the Amazon, Colombia has something for everyone. Number eight, Albania. Underrated country that is full of surprises and has a rich history. In Albania, you can go by with just $20 a day, accommodation very affordable, and your meal can be as low as $2. With fewer tourists than other countries in Europe, your best time to visit and take in this beautiful country is now. Number nine, Turkey. If you stay in Cappadocia or Istanbul, which are absolute must, you may think Turkey is expensive, but if you decide to go places considered not so touristy, like Vaughn and cars, you see how cheap the country really is. You can expect to spend around $30 a day and still get to see interesting sites. Number 10, South Africa. Considered cheap for its impressive landscape, but in general, people usually think it's expensive because flying there can get pricey. But once you get there, accommodation can be as low as $10, your meal around $5, and local beer under $2. South Africa has a wide range of activities and they are very affordable, some even free. There are a lot more countries that could have been on this list, but we would never finish. So that wraps it up for the top 10 budget-friendly countries you should visit in 2023. If you have gotten any value from this video, leave a like, comment to let me know if you consider visiting any of these countries, or tell me stories if you've been to any of them already. But most importantly, remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy travels.